Hi, my name is Matt Baum and I'm a product manager at Belden. In the next couple of minutes, we're going to show you how to install and terminate the new RevConnect patch panels. But first, let's take a look at the materials that come with the panels. This 24 port patch panel comes with 24 RevConnect jacks already pre-installed in the panel. It comes with instructions, mounting hardware, one bag of 25 cable managers and termination caps is provided with the panel in case you need to re-terminate one of the ports. 50 cores come with 48 port panels. Every panel also comes with a cable support bar and Velcro strips. Finally, a pre-printed labeling card system with port ID and clear windows are provided to complete the patch panel labeling. The first step in installing the RevConnect patch panels is to use the provided mounting screws to secure the panel to the rack or cabinet. Here, you can see we mounted the 24 port flat panel and a 24 and 48 port angled patch panel at the bottom of our rack. To terminate from the back of the panel, place the cables in their respective port locations using the cable measuring feature that is located right above every port. You can then separate the cables in two bundles of 12 and tie the cables to the support bar. Make sure you have enough cable slack in case one of the ports needs to be re-terminated in the future, a minimum of four inches. Adjust your bend radius and trace a line on every cable to mark where the jack needs to be terminated. You are now ready to start terminating the RevConnect cores using the multi-pair termination tool. If you have limited access to the back of the panel, you can do all the termination steps while standing in the front of the panel. When terminating from the front, make sure to leave an additional 8 inches of cable slack to be able to pull out a 6-port connector module in the future. Trace the line, and before you start terminating the cores, make sure you remove the 6-port connector modules as you will not be able to take them to the back through the openings for jack assembly. You are now ready to begin termination. Refer to the RevConnect Jacks termination video for detailed jack termination and assembly instructions. Once all jacks are terminated, you can finalize the cable dressing to provide good support to your cables. Last but not least, you need to label the patch panel ports to help with cable infrastructure administration. For small cabling projects that only require a simple port number, you can use the pre-printed card supplied with the panel. For more elaborate printing schemes, you can use a handheld printer and apply the printed label to the card or use the label flex sheet shown here and print the labels in the office using a standard laser printer and the Belden Label Flex software. Lastly, slide the label insert behind the clear window and snap the window over the appropriate patch panel ports. If for any reason one of the ports needs to be replaced, you can easily replace it with any regular RevConnect jack. Simply use a jack release tool or a standard flathead screwdriver and release the keystone latch from the six port module. A new port can be inserted guaranteeing 100% port availability at all times. Thanks for watching the RevConnect patch panels installation video and thanks for choosing Belden.